Hey guys, this is Not So. I'm back with you uh, in a first of a series that I'm going to do on some uh, weapons attacks. Uh, just a bunch of short videos uh, going through different types of uh, weapons attacks. Primarily uh, dumb bombs, so Mark 82 CBU. Uh, we'll do some LGBs towards the end, but these are just going to be some little quick and dirty short videos on uh, on how to do various attacks, such as uh, pop attacks, uh, lats, uh, which I'll explain what all that stuff means later. Uh, lofts and uh, and diving attacks. So let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, give you an overview of what we're going to do today. So this is going to be a Mark 82 uh, 20 degree low drag uh, pop uh, delivery. Uh, we're here on the range just north of uh, Creech up on the um, 64 Charlie range. I've got a traditional SA2 site set up uh, just along the uh, eastern edge of this road. Uh, primary target is going to be the fan song and a flat face uh, radar. So we're going to drop a stick of uh, 12 Mark 82 uh, low drags uh, out of a pop delivery. So uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and jump in the jet and then we'll uh, intro the attack card and demo the attack. All right, I'll see you in the jet. Hey guys, we're back in the jet now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is walk you through the attack card. So the first video that uh, I'm doing for this short uh, demonstration and tutorial is the Mark 82 we're going to do the 20 degree low drag side of the card. This whole card is intended to be uh, more of like an element, uh, you know, a two ship where one goes high, one goes low. But in this case, we're going to do each one of these individually. And I'll do the 10 degree high drag in a separate video. So we're going to concentrate on the right side of the card today um, with the uh, 12 Mark 82s uh, with 80 foot impact spacing. So what we're doing is uh, we're going to attack the uh, SA2 site that we talked about. Uh, we're coming across this flat, dry lake bed uh, at low altitude. I'm going to climb just briefly to kind of tickle the, the SA2 site to get him to at least lock us up uh, so we can see that he's, uh, he's actually seen us. And then we'll dive back down to a terrain mass for the rest of the way. So what we're going to do is once we go target direct in air-to-ground master mode, uh, we're going to uh, turn right at, um, I'm sorry, we're going to check right 25 degrees at 5.3 nautical miles on the uh, air to ground master mode HUD, roll out, and then we're gonna pull up uh, with the flight path marker at 30 degrees nose high, and hold that until we get to 4,600 to, uh, to go ahead and pull down. And all of these maneuvers are roughly in the three to four G range, so it's not like, uh, you know, super high G maneuvers, but you do wanna be pretty aggressive with the, uh, with the turns and the pulls. Uh, normally, um, th this is, uh, the, all these altitudes are height above target, so uh, up here in the desert, we're probably about 3,000 feet. So you'd, you'd probably have to, add, or I'm sorry, not probably, but you'd have to add uh, that 3,000 feet. So roughly be about 7,600. Uh, or you can use a radar altimeter if you're over flat terrain, but it's usually much better to go uh, um, with the, uh, the MSL altitude uh, plus the height above target. Once we pull down, uh, again, that's at about 4 Gs. Uh, we should apex somewhere around um, that 6,700 height above target, uh, which would be about 9.7 on the uh, MSL. And then we're going to pull down, put the flight path marker just long of the target. Uh, and if I do everything right, I should end up with the flight path marker roughly on the 20 degree uh, pitch ladder as I, as I dive down to give me that good 20 degree wire. What we'll do is we'll freeze that flight path marker at that uh, dive angle and we'll center up the, the displayed impact angle. Uh, with the CDIP pipper uh, going straight through the target and let the, the pipper, the reticle, march up to the target and then pickle when, the, uh, when it gets there. I'll go ahead and pause it once we get to that step so I can, so I can show you what I'm looking at. So again, the, the most important part of this whole card are these first three things. So check 25 degrees right at 5.3, pull up at 30 degrees, and then pull down at 4.6 height above target. And then everything else should take care of itself after that. The rest of it is kind of advisory. If I apex higher or low from that, just realize that I might end up being either or either steep or shallow. So this is more of an essay tool to know what I'm going to end up once I uh, roll out. And then we should be releasing somewhere around 4,400 feet head above target. Again, if you're a little higher, a little low, that's okay. As long as you don't bust through the um, uh, min-release altitude on that. All right, so uh, we'll go ahead and go to the, uh, the packs. I'll show you what I've actually set up for that. Okay, now that we've talked about the card, uh, now let's just very quickly go over the, the pack setup uh, for this attack. So you can see I've got 12 Mark 82s, quantity 12. I've got it set up as an auto, even though we're actually gonna do a seat release. That's just my personal technique. 
You can set that to seat it uh, right off the bat. I like to do auto and then use the hoe task to, uh, to thumb aft uh, to get into seat it. But again, either way works as long as you know how to do the hoe task. It's probably simpler just to set it up and seat it, but that's just the way I do it. Uh, I've got ripple single, nose tail uh, for the low drag, and then I'm using uh, 80 foot spacing for the bombs. Again, that should give me a good bomb density to, uh, to cover the target. Uh, especially given that these are um, unguided bombs, and it gives me a little bit of uh, room for slop if, um, uh, if I you know, uh, don't get the, the pipper exactly on the target, I'm probably still gonna get good weapons effects. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, press on. Okay, so we're rolling out. We're gonna cross this, uh, this flat uh, dry lake bed, this flat plain. Uh, you'll, uh, we, I'm gonna climb a little bit just to kind of tickle the SA-2 site that sits out off to our uh, left nine o'clock just to see if I can get him to, to lock us up to see that he can see us and that he's an actual threat and then uh, we'll get back down behind the terrain um, so we don't get shot. Yep, so there it is. There's my MUD 2 indication. Uh, and he's sitting, uh, again, just there off that little peanut hill. Uh, and I'll give you a, a good idea of where he is. So he's sitting right behind this, I'm sorry, right behind this little peanut hill uh, down this road. So we're going to come around behind this train, run down uh, along this ridge line, and then pop uh, as we're approaching that little peanut hill. Essentially what I've done is I've put this small little terrain between me and the target uh, so they can't shoot me uh, until I unmask. Uh, and my exposure time should be uh, very minimal. So we'll, uh, we'll get down behind this terrain. So now we're into uh, air to ground master mode. Looks like the uh, uh, mud indication is still there, but we should, uh, should block that as we go. Yep, so we're naked now as we go behind this uh, ridge line. So we're in uh, air to ground master mode. Card is up. So again, looking for that check 25 degrees right at 5.3, pull up 30 and then uh, pull down at 4.6. 6.6 miles out now, so, I'll, so now I'm in uh, seat up, doing the HOTAS, looking for 5.3, and action. So check 25 right, roll out, pull up 30 degrees. Probably plug some blower in just so we don't get slow. And now we're looking for that 4.6 or uh, 7.6. Pulling down and looking out the window, looking for the, uh, the target uh, as we uh, as we come around. So I'm going to roll out and I'm going to pause it just briefly. So you can see I've, I've ended up on a really nice wire, 20 degree, that's, that's pretty darn close for government work. And uh, the key here is now what I want to do is I want to freeze that aim off distance by not letting this flight path marker move around with the, the displayed impact line is now going straight through the center of the target where my uh, deep, uh, DMPI is. And now by freezing the flight path marker, this reticle and pipper will now march up to the target uh, as I go. So good technique is as I'm going up the, up the chute uh, in the pop, probably put some chaff and flares out so we don't get shot. And then uh, continue to put chaff out as we uh, roll in uh, coming down the line. So go ahead and unfreeze. Holding that flight path uh, aim off distance. Pickle, hold the pickle button down until the bombs are gone. Good safe escape maneuver to 30 degrees nose high. And now we're looking for the, uh, the bombs to go straight through the uh, center of the target. And it looks like we did a really nice job of uh, uh, killing the site. All right, guys, j ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, a very quick video on a 20-degree pop attack. Uh, we'll do some more videos uh, to, uh, to get some other, um, other type of attacks. You can see I had good weapons effects there, so that'll, that'll do it for my 20-degree low drag Mark 82. All right, guys, that's it. Nasso's out, and we'll uh, do this again real soon.